Hi guys, it's Kathy here at Art Zone. I'm going to show you one of our unicorn designs. We actually have several. This is our unicorn uh, with the flower headdress. In your painting kit, you should have two stencils. One stencil has the horn with two flowers. The second stencil has the eyes and the ears and one flower. You'll also probably need some tape if you can find some. And then we sent a dauber and a paintbrush or two for you to use along with your paint. So we're gonna start by painting the background. Now, our background was pretty simple in that it was white. Of course, you can change that if you have other colors. Uh, think about what might show up well on two different colors. Um, do remember that when you are painting canvas, that the canvas has sides or edges. You can see these ones needed to be gone over a few more times, but you wanna make sure and paint those edges too. Now, even if you are doing your background white, you still want to paint it because the color of your canvas is usually kind of white, but it's, it's usually needing um, an extra coat of white to help it out. So I am gonna start with that and my paintbrush is a little wet. So I'm gonna dry it off before we start. And I'm gonna take and get a bunch of my white on here. Make sure that you are taking your paintbrush all the way across your canvas, all the way off the edges. Spread those globs of paint out. We're not going up and down and back and forth. That's just gonna look messy. Make sure you're going all the way across. The paint we use is an acrylic paint. It's usually an apple barrel brand, which you can get at any local store. The Apple Barrel brand is a thin, thin paint. So you will want to paint your background more than once. So I'm going to paint this in white, but then I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to paint it in white a second time, especially if you're using colors other than white. You'll notice that the paint will look streaky that first coat. Sometimes it even takes a third coat to get it really nice and solid so it's not streaky. Don't forget the sides of your canvas as you're doing it. Now, drying. You can do that a number of ways. One way is to simply leave it alone, 15, 20 minutes, let it dry, come back to it and do your second layer. Or you can use a blow dryer. Be careful with the blow dryer because if you have it too close to your painting or if the blow dryer is set on um, a hot, it will dry the top of the paint, but it won't dry the um, second layer of the paint. So that's gonna cause the top layer to crack and um, you probably won't want that. So paint it, let it dry, come back to it. Don't leave your paintbrush with paint in it if you're just gonna let it dry. Um, and then go ahead and do a whole second coat before you continue on. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. Make sure it's dry before you go because if, if you add your stencil on top right now, it's going to mix with this color um, and give you all kinds of different stuff. My paper is super thick and it actually just soaks in that layer of paint so that I can keep going. I like to start with my stencil that has um, the eyes on it. I like to start uh, by taking that stencil. You don't want it high up in the page. Remember, we still have a unicorn horn to fit in there. So I'm gonna take it a bit lower into the page and tape it down. You don't have to be too crazy with it. Check and see where it is on the edges of your canvas, make sure that it's not off to one side. Or maybe you're going to add words to this. This is your painting. You do not have to stay with our exact design. If you want to add other things to it, please do. This is your painting. 
So if you were going to add words, you would want to think, how are those words going to fit into the painting? And think about where your um, unicorn face should actually be. Because my paint is a bit wet, it's making my tape not want to stay down, which makes it a little more difficult. Another reason for you to let your paint dry. Okay. We are ready. You'll notice if you look close at this one, this particular stencil, it has the ears, the eyes, and one flower. I did that all in one color, but you can switch it up. You don't have to do it all in one color. You can mix it um, as you go, completely your choice. I'm gonna take my paint dauber. I'm gonna get my purple on it. I wanna make sure that I don't have too much purple, so I kinda tap around and make sure it's not globbed. If it's globbed, it's going to uh, drip and run underneath your stencil and you don't want that. I seem to run out of purple on this one, so I'm gonna grab some from another paint palette that I had sitting next to me. But here, if you look close, do you see that big glob? We don't want that. So tap around, even out your paint. When you're using your dauber, don't push down on that dauber. It's gonna send the paint underneath the stencil. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna lightly tap up and down or daub until I think I've gotten all of that in. It's hard on those eyelashes to get that dauber in and continue through until you fill in all of the stencil. Really make sure you're pushing the stencil down so that it's not allowing paint to go underneath it. It is okay if that does happen. You can always fix it by taking white right on top of any problem areas. You would want to let it dry first. You wouldn't want to try and put white on top of wet purple. That's just going to mix together and make a light purple. So we actually have this unicorn in several different designs for around the horn. We've got a bow. For Halloween, we have um, a witch's hat. Oh, there's the fall pumpkin. I really like that one. Christmas, we've got to where the horn turns into a candy cane. So once you have that, you will want to clean your dauber out. You'll let this dry, but don't leave your stencil on. If your stencil dries on your canvas, sometimes it causes it to um, tear parts of your stencil and leave it behind on your canvas that you wouldn't want. Now these stencils are reusable, so just set them to the side and let them dry. You're gonna take your dauber Clean it out in some water because you'll need it for the next stencil. So really get all of that out. Squeeze out that water. You'll also want to take a towel and really clean the dauber. Dry it so that there's no water that's going to get onto your painting. And of course, if you're letting your, your painting dry anyways, just give it time, set that dauber to the side, let it dry. Now, I actually already have this, this step done and dry on another paper. So I'm going to put that up for us to continue working on. So we won't have to wait. So the next part is going to add the horn and two more flowers. So you want to try and line it up. It may not line up perfectly. Once again, you're going to want some tape ready. Let's just put it to the side. This one also has um, some little stars that go next to the eye. 
here. I've lined it up the best I can. I'm going to tape it down. And I'm ready for the pink. Once again, make sure you're not getting a bunch of paint globs on there. Really spread it out and get that off of your brush. And then slowly add in what's left. Don't push hard. That will just cause paint to go underneath your stencil. And then you have cleanup to do. Now, once I have this all done, my example, I really just left it plain. But if you want to add more to it, really design those flowers, add some fun to them, take your time and go for it. Those little stars, you really wanna make sure that you don't have too much paint. They won't look like stars when we take this stencil off. So now we can clean that sponge off and take our stencil off. Once again, you would want it to dry before you do anything else. Once it is dry, just set that stencil to the side because it is reusable. Once it is dry, then decide if there's anything else you want to do um, with your smaller paintbrush. Like right here, my flowers didn't really connect um, completely. So I could come back with um, my pink and fill this area in so that it does connect all the way to my other flower. And if you have other colors, you can add designs to your flower, maybe give it a center and show its different petals. Really endless options here. So have some fun, add what you want to your painting, and we look forward to creating with you soon.